Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the halting condition of parabolic interpolation. There are three different halting conditions which may cause the iteration process to halt. The first one is that we halt if both of the following conditions are met. So there are condition A condition, and condition B, both of them need to be satisfied. Condition A is that the step between successive iterates is sufficiently small. So um, it means the absolute value of xn minus xn minus 1 should be less than a constant, which is called epsilon step. And condition B is that the difference between y values um, becomes sufficiently small. So that's the absolute value of fxn minus fxn minus 1 is less than a constant. This constant is called epsilon abs. So the condition 1 is that we halt when this process converges. So condition 2 is that if the interpolating quadratic function is a straight line, so it's possible that the three points we choose on the curve forms a straight line. If that happens, um, when we use the formula um, to, to find xn based on the three previous initial guesses, you will get a zero um, as the denominator. So the third condition is that if we have iterated some maximum number of times, say n, and haven't met condition 1, and we halt and indicate that a solution wasn't found. Remember that this method belongs to the open method, so there is no guarantee that this method will converge. So we always set up a maximum number of iterations we want to do. Um, we call this n. All right, so if we, if we halt due to condition 1, we state that um, we find optimum and xn is our approximation to the minimum. And if we halt due to either condition 2 or condition 3, we didn't find a solution. So we, we need to say that um, we need to either choose a different initial approximations, x1, x2, uh, x0, x1, and x2, or just say that a solution may not exist. All right, so when we used MATLAB to um, implement parabolic interpolation method, we need to deal with the uh, condition one, which it, the process converges, and uh, also condition three, when we iterated the maximum number of times and it, the process still doesn't converge. The second scenario was included in the third one um, because when we have the um, division by zero problem, the MATLAB will continue running and it will not send us any error message. So we just need to uh, deal with the condition one and condition three when we uh, do MATLAB coding.